The next case is a seven-year-old who's had a long-standing uh, mass on the elbow, and this waxes and wanes over time, but it is presenting to us because of increasing discomfort. You can see a sort of bruise-like area as well as some soft tissue swelling here. We suspect that it's a vascular malformation, yeah. and we get some imaging to try and delineate the nature of it. You can see on these MR images these cysts. This is lymphatic malformation cysts. It's interesting, and it wasn't quite clear when we first saw the child, as, as Alona alluded to. These cysts have different signal characteristics along here. Some of them may have a little blood in them or a little protein in them. I can easily access this lesion with ultrasound, and you can see I've injected some contrast into the lesion. This is in one of the lymphatic malformation macrocysts, um, and you can see an ultrasound here. What I'll do is I'll access the cyst. I like to use ultrasound because then you can tell the, the family you're really limiting any kind of radiation they get, which is a pretty common topic nowadays. You can drain the cyst and then you can infuse the cyst with a sclerosing agent. If you simply drain a lymphatic malformation or a venous malformation cyst, it will recur. So you have to do something to the cyst to make that not happen. And that's where the term sclerotherapy or scarring therapy comes in. You inject something into this. In this case, this is doxycycline and that's what all this material here is in the, in the bottom uh, segment um, that will do something to the cyst that initially makes it a little bit bigger, but in the long run, co-ops it and makes it quite a bit smaller, and that allows us to treat this in the short run and engage in a discussion with the child and the family about what's going to happen in the future. And one of the things we talk about all the time, which is one of Alona's favorite things, is activity and what do you tell families to do or not to do. Yeah, and I think basically we try to give people as normal life as possible. So we're not going to tell them that they need to walk around with their arm in a sling or, or, or fear that they may have more problems with activity.